find some sort of harmony and balance. Quick video, basically to follow up what I did previously in my other video of introducing myself and kind of giving everybody my story in real estate. Now, I wanted to make this specific video about door knocking, which is one of the things I'm known for, especially in my office. Anybody that follows me on social media will see me post pictures every day of me getting out there and saying, I'm out here, I'm hitting doors, I'm not stopping no matter what, rain, sun, doesn't matter. And I wanted to break down exactly kind of what I do in two separate quick sections. One, I'm going to be talking about the inner game, what I do internally and, you know, in my mind and physically to get myself ready to go out there and door knock. And two, kind of, you know, the approach I use and what I've noticed works for me. So I'm going to get right to the point, the inner game. Now door knocking, a lot of you out there might not have done it, might be scared to death to do it and might say, you know what, that's not for me, I'll just get on the phone. Now just to let you know, being face to face with somebody is probably one of the most powerful techniques you're going to have for influencing them. Not only just to you know do business with you, but too, it's just to get known. You know, the big thing, especially I noticed in real estate, is just, you know, being the man, being branded, having people know who you are, being the go-to guy. You know, so when someone sees your picture, hears your name and say, boom, real estate. And that's ultimately what you want in your market and anywhere else. Because you're not going to be able to reach anybody at any given time. So for someone maybe you reached a year ago, if your name is branded in their head, guess who they're going to think about when they want to sell their home? Someone calls them and says, hey, I want to sell. Do you know anybody? Or they're thinking about buying another property or whatever it might be. If they're thinking real estate, your name's gonna go right into their head. Top of mind awareness, that's what it's called. And that's ultimately what you wanna create. So internally, you need to get over it. Um, <laughs> I, can't, I can't put it any other way. You need to go out there and, and talk to people. If, you, if you're a phone prospector and you're great at it, good for you. But if you can door knock, and believe me, I don't care what kind of producer you are, you can always get out there for at least 45 minutes, an hour, two hours and go door knock. Anybody can do it. I don't care what level you're on. And it's going to be the best thing for you. You're meeting the neighbors. You're getting to know people. There's always the one neighborhood watch guy there that's going to tell you, oh, hey, this guy wants to sell. Or, you know, Joe Schmo over there was telling me he wants to move in a year. And you're always going to have one person in certain tracks of homes that's going to give you that kind of information. And those are the best people to align yourself with. I can't tell you how many people in my database I have already that are those people and that actually call me even every couple weeks and say, hey, Brian, you know, uh, what's his name just mentioned to me? He might be thinking about moving in six months. Just giving you a heads up. Isn't that what you guys want? I mean, I love when they call me like that and I feel grateful that they think of me. But it's due to me positioning myself to them as saying, hey, that's my guy. That's my realtor. So you need to get out there. Mentally, you need to accept the fact that you're going to have to go out there and just meet people. You know, rejection is part of it. Um, I've gotten spit on, believe it or not. I've had people slam the door in my face. I've said, I've had people tell me, get the F off my property. You know what that word is. I've seen it all already in, in a short amount of time. So believe me, you know, negativity is out there. You need to learn how to tune that out. And like I said in my previous video, fill your head with positive things. Know why you're out there and keep your goal in sight. Because if you have your goal in front of you, whether, you know, it's on a card or, you know, you're looking on your phone, those little things aren't going to matter because your goal's up here and all the negative stuff is just a stream flowing under the bridge and your goal is going to be right here, strong. And you just need to stay focused on that. Now, as far as attire, I'm always in a suit. Um, I have my name badge, which I'm holding right here. I always put that on. It's really hot here, so I'll normally ditch the jacket and just go with a shirt, tie, name badge, slacks. I'll wear comfortable shoes, obviously, because usually when I door knock, I go for at least two or three hours before I stop. So you definitely want to wear comfortable shoes. Um, the reason I go with the shirt and tie or the suit is because I think I always put myself in the perspective of the client. If someone shows up to your house and they're in a suit and they are confident, they are sharp as a tack, they're enthusiastic, you know, they're an authority figure, they're an expert. I mean, naturally, you're going to feel like, wow, this guy, this guy's sharp. You know, if I ever do want to work with somebody, it's going to be someone like him. Because like we all know, first impressions last. Your first impression, a lot of the times, will either make or break the deal for you. So you need to make sure that your first impression is strong, bold, confident, and for them to at least say whether they work with you or not, or you get rejected, whatever, they'll at least walk away and say, you know what, you know, I might not have liked him or I don't want to sell, but you know, wow, he was sharp. He was good. He was on point. That's what you want to portray when you're talking to people. And that's something I pride myself on right now is when I show up to your door, whether you like me or not, you're going to say, this kid is sharp. He knows what he's doing. He knows what he's talking about. If 
I ever had to sell or knew anybody that did, he would get it done. And that's, that's, that's what I want to give off to people because I know I can do it. And you need to believe that on the inside. First thing, when you door knock, when you go out there and you're going to knock on somebody's door, whether it's for real estate or not, one thing you need to be or have inside of you is just absolute certainty. When I go out and door knock, the main thing that sets me apart from everybody else is that I am certain with what I'm doing. I know what service I'm providing. I believe in it 100% and I know I'm the best person for the job. By virtue of that, when I show up to somebody's door, I'm a lot more powerful. <clears throat> comes across in my body language, comes across in my speech, comes across in my interaction. I'm very comfortable, very confident, and very certain. You must be certain. If you're not certain and you're kind of out there shaky, people are going to pick up on it because everything is a vibe. Everything is a frequency. If someone senses weakness in you, they're going to tell you to get the hell out. <clears throat> but if you're powerful, you're pleasant, you show up at somebody's door, you're sharp, you're professional, they're going to listen to you. If you go out and you do any kind of prospecting over the phone or at the door, you're going to come across people that are negative. Now, what you need to understand as a salesperson or anybody who's an entrepreneur, most people in this country or in the world live in a disempowered state. So when you enter their world by knocking on the door or calling them, a lot of people are just going to naturally be low energy or negative. So you need to keep that in your mind and say, hey, I expect people to be positive. However, if it's negative, it's they're not rejecting you. They're rejecting your service or your product or whatever it is. They're not saying for me, it's like, oh, hey, Brian, I hate you. It's not. It's when I go up to them, if they don't need to buy or sell a home, then, hey, they're going to say, no, go away. And that's fine. And I can live with that. However, I don't take it personally. That's probably one of the biggest keys that has helped me be so consistent and work so hard is I don't take anything personally. Because sometimes from so many hours every day, my feet sometimes get tired. And I need that one day. It goes back to game. You're never attached to the outcome. Yeah. Because when you become attached to it, then yeah. it can affect you. Yeah. It's really yeah, but we, so how we have see, see, so the reason I'm not attached is because I have so, I get, I talk to so many people every yes. day. I know that the next one is coming. So if this guy tells me, hey, I want to sell, but he doesn't want to work with me or he's too high on the price or whatever yeah. it is, I don't care because once I'm done with him, I'm going to keep hitting more doors. And maybe he is unrealistic, but 10 doors down over there, that guy wants to sell and he likes me and he's, he listens to me. I'm going to go there. Yeah. But if, if you only do this one time a month and he's the only one you get, yes. then, you then you're going to get a test.